What up guys, it's Drew here, and uh, we're gonna get ready to start filming. Hopefully this rigs up the way I planned it, or this whole thing will be just a big schmoz. But hey, what's up? Or Happy New Year's to all of you. Um, okay, here we go. Close the garage. Yeah, it's closed. All right, we're gonna get going. Plans go over to Mines Falls here, down the street. It's my day off. I'm gonna go out and uh, see if I can get a few good shots off um, using the vintage lens and a filter. I wanna kinda do some long exposures. And we're moving. Film, film, edit, post, repeat. Right? Let's see if we can get get better at this and yeah, maybe that's what I need to do is just continue to practice to get better and better at my craft and then we'll see what happens. But in order to do that, I gotta go practice. So guess what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out to the lake here, wonderful Mines Falls, and take some long exposure, that's the process. I want to take some shots where I'm going to draw out the exposure and use a filter um, just to see what I get. I know it's not the world's greatest weather today. It's super overcast and ugly. And, but you know what? Who knows what will happen, folks? You know, the nice part is there's no one on the lake right now. So setting up won't be such an issue. Do 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 gonna cut across here. Here we go. And a component over here. Park right here. Oh. Stop. Oh yeah, look at that. We're good. Great. It's time to set up. So I kind of figured out what I want to get here for a shot, and it's going to be right in that area. I got to get the shade here to kind of see it, but that's going to be where I'm going to get that shot from. Trying to get just what I want in focus, and it's just right in reach, so it's kind of like I don't want to lose much. Bulkhead's not the best here, it's drifting on its own, not even touching it, it's drifting away. Alright, so we're gonna darken the heck out of this with the filter. So the other camera died in the middle of trying to get the shot. I have the wide angle on now. 
And I'm gonna take you guys for a quick walk with this wide angle and all my gear in the same shot. Ow, that's a knuckle. But yeah, so that's Mines Falls right now. And let's get a little brighter here. Oh, as you can see, Mine Falls. Out to go film now. We're gonna get back to the truck here. And, well, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. Let's ditch this filter here for your lens. Legitly, sunglasses for your lens. Okay, let's see if we can get this going here. All right, I'll bring you around. It doesn't normally sit like this, so I'm just gonna roll with it like that for now. Yeah, just go with it. All right. Gotta get my keys. So we're done here at Mines Falls. Um, wasn't too. We'll see what we got. That's the fun part. And we'll take it from there. And lessons learned. I think I need uh, like an actual, not like the one I was using where it turns, but one that's actually like a way, way step down. Like, you know, like 20 steps or something, they call it. But we'll see. Get a little chilly out there, give me a little bit of sniffles. Feel a little cold. Yeah, just a little bit. All right. I'm a whiner, I know. Yeah, and the RXO died. I really should get another battery for it. I normally run a pack with it, but um, today I didn't. I didn't think I was gonna go for more than a half an hour of trying to film, but I forgot that if I'm filming constantly, battery depletes very, very fast on the RXO. Um, <clears throat> but it works and it does its thing so I'm all oh there goes the camera this is why that's not gonna work so we're gonna stop because it's not safe all right guys well um made it home after the camera fell battery died so we're off to go do the next part of it and let's go do some editing I'm gonna put all my stuff away first.